Hey, sports fans, Kip the Moose Zikafoos here. Satellite Arena ready for Butt Bowl 5. It's a luchador death match throwdown here tonight. Can you believe it, Obi? Can you even believe that we're here tonight at Butt Bowl 5? Hey, world changers. You know, coming in here and we're fighting and the pack rat and the... And the honey badger and getting all in there, get that dirty under the fingernails. Come on in, a Tar Heel Blue and Bacon. Gotta be my All way. right, thanks, Obi, for that. Tonight, we've got a great showdown for you. Tim Cast and Jeremy Meekly, Nathan Alford, The Apocalypse 2.0, and Miss Caroline Miller versus Nacho Libre in the arena tonight. It's no holds barred death match, but bowl wrestling for your entertainment tonight. We're going to hand it over as we get going with round one tonight. Here we go. Sports fans, get ready. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Butt Bowl 5, live from the Satellite Arena. In the blue corner, we've got Tim Caston and Tim Tebow. In the red corner, we've got Nacho Libre and El Trollo. Let's get ready to rumble! All right, here we go. Straight up, Tim Caston making his move. He's got the crossbow. He's on the segue. Oh, he fires the bow straight into Nacho. Direct hit. Uh oh, pulls the bow right back out. He's ripping it. Oh, there. Oh, oh, ow! Ooh, that hurts. Wrecks him on the segue. Picks him up. He's got him in the air. And he's tossing Tim Caston down. Caston's got something behind his back. What is that? Oh, it's a sword. Oh, the backflip up with the sword. Oh, and he cuts off Nacho's right hand. Oh, and here comes El Trollo, the wake-up troll. He grabs the sword. Oh, picks up to oh, picks up Tim Caston. Oh, throws him out. Oh, who is that? Uh-oh, look out, Peter Alpert. Oh, right on to Pete Alpert. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Here comes Caston's tag team partner, Tim Tebow. He's coming up to El Trollo. Oh, the kick in the gut. Oh, the kick in the gut. Oh, sends him through the goalpost. And we've got confirmation. It's good. Looks like we've got a hook hand placement on Nacho Libre. He's replaced that severed right hand with a pirate hook. And Tim's climbing back into the ring. Trollo climbing back in. Uh-oh, Tebow back facing off. Tebow into the middle. And he goes down on a knee. It's the Tim Tebow move. Oh, no. It's, oh, it's Yahweh, God Almighty of the Old Testament. Hey, world changer. That's some Exodus Leviticus Deuteronomy numbers right there. They're coming down from the God Almighty. Ooh, lightning. All right, folks. It looks like that, uh, that Old Testament lightning strike has killed El Trollo dead and uh, actually empowered Nacho Libre. Oh, no. He's grabbing, going for Tim Tebow. Oh, and, oh, with the hook hand rips. Tebow's head off. Looks like he's going after Tim Caston now. Severs Caston's ah. body. Oh, rips his torso off. His... Oh. Ugh. Ugh. And we've got a win right here for Nacho Libre. Round one goes to Nacho Libre. All right, sports fans. Kip the Moose Zigafoos back here at the sports desk with Obi right after that gruesome round one. Tim Caston and Tim Tebow eliminating El Trollo from the competition. But uh, but Nacho Libre still in and uh, going to be replaced, we understand, next round by the Gingerbread Man as his tag team partner. We're having some technical difficulties here at the Satellite uh, News Sports Desk. And, uh, and so we've called in our uh, IT guy, Carmine and Sarah, uh, to fix our problems. So hope you're not uh, uh, experiencing those problems at home. We want to bring you the best in broadcast uh, ability here at the Butt Bowl. Don't uh, forget, uh, sponsored by Carmine FM, our cleanup crew today, uh, the three brothers, Jose, Jose, and Jose, taking care of keeping that ring clean from all the blood, guts, gore, and body parts in between these rounds today. So special thanks to the brothers three, Jose, Jose, and Jose, and Carmine FM for sponsoring our cleanup crew today. But we're gonna get on our way with round two. Obi, you ready? Hey, all right. We gotta go. Come on down here, world. Don't come on down. Here. Yeah, big strong people. And come on down here, there's an oak tree. And all right. So here we are, round two. Here we go. In the blue corner, we've got Nathan Alford, Apocalypse 2.0, and Krista Heilman, Apocalypse 1.0. In the red corner, we've got Nacho Libre and the Gingerbread Man. Round two. Round two. Round two is chicken poop. All right, folks. Here's the face off, and we've got. Apocalypse 2.0 Nathan Alford. We've learned that he's got a special magic wand that turns people into animals. Here we go. Oh, the left hook punch. Oh, 
from Nacho Libre right out the start, right out of the gate. Oh, and here comes Alford with the magic wand. Oh, bounces off Nacho Libre's shield and into the crowd, and that dude just got turned into a German Shepherd. Another fire from the magic wand. Misses this one. Oh, there goes the mime, and now he's an owl. Nacho backing up. Scared of that magic wand. Here comes another blast from the magic wand from Apocalypse 2.0, and he turns the gingerbread man into a horse. Nacho Libre mounting the horse Gallic style. Apocalypse 2, Nathan Alford fires off another round from the magic wand. Oh, right into IT guy Carmine. Uh-oh. And he's turned Carmine into Sputnik the Chicken. Another blast from the magic wand. Uh, turns that dude into a cat. Here comes Nacho Libre on the horse. Tramples Apocalypse 2. Ouch! And here comes Apocalypse 1. Krista Heilman with her snowboard. Oh, pow! Knocks Nacho off the horse with the snowboard. Nacho picks up the battle axe off the side of the horse. So as we're watching this fight, well, we've got Obi on the field uh, and just learned that Derek Jeter, all-star Yankee baseball player, is in the audience. We've got an uh, on-site interview with him. We're going to go to the field with Obi as we, uh, as we stay tuned to this fight right here. Obi, understand you've got Derek Jeter there. Hey, buddy, I got the Derek Jeter, Yankee, Yankee baseball, and take me out to the ball game. How you doing? Come on, how you doing? How you doing? You get that Yankee blue, that Tar Heel blue, kind of like that. How you doing, Derek Jeter? Oh, and we're in a battle royale right now. Apocalypse One, Krista Heilman with the snowboard, and Nacho Libre with the battle axe. Here we go, back and forth, hit for hit. Apocalypse One hanging in there with all of her strength. Uh oh, looks like look like, looks like Nacho Libre's got a clean cut, and her guard is down. And oh, off with the head, and the head goes flying into the crowd. And oh. Wait a minute, Derek Jeter with the Golden Glove catch. And that's an out. All right, folks, we're back at the sports desk. Kip the Moose Zikafoos here with Obi. We've just finished a gruesome round two, Apocalypse 2.0. Nathan Alford and Apocalypse 1. The original Apocalypse, Krista Hyman tag team partners getting destroyed by Nacho Libre and his new tag team partner, the Gingerbread Man, which was turned into a horse, which is now uh, out of the way. Uh, Nathan Alford getting carted away by the ambulance here, taken to the hospital. And uh, we're getting ready for our halftime show with none other than Madonna. So get ready, ladies and gentlemen, sports fans and music fans alike, for the special Butt Bowl halftime show with none other than Madonna. Enjoy, folks. Some boys roll me, some boys is it's all right with me. If they can't raise my interest, then I have to let them be. Some boys try and some boys lie, but I don't let them play. Only boys that save their pennies make my rainy day. Cause we are living in a material world And I am a material girl You know that we are living in a material world And I am a material girl Hey, world dangers, come on in, I'll be Come on in, I'll be in, I'll be in, that was weird then dude trying to kill Madonna it didn't work. Don't mess with the law. You get the bull, you get the horns. You know, it is like jello pudding. You know, just coming on in, down, down the butt bowl, and it the giants and the. All right. The Thanks, OB, for that. That was weird. Kip the Moose Zikafoos here, back at the sports desk. Thanks, OB. I'm here with Nacho Libre's new tag team partner, uh, a sumo wrestler. Uh, sir, uh, we don't know much about you. Uh, tell us a little bit about where you're from, your name, and uh, and and your strengths here. What you're going to bring to the match? Whoa! All right, let me uh, let me give this another try. Maybe just start with your name. Gudia! All right, and uh, and how do you know uh, Nacho Libre? Have you fought with him before? All right, folks. Well, you heard it live here at the uh, sports desk. Um, that's uh, the scoop from the sumo wrestler. Uh, going into round three up against Jeremy Meekly and Sean Michelle. So here we go with round three. Let's get ready. In the blue corner, we've got Jeremy Meekly and Sean Michelle. In the red corner, we've got Nacho Libre and a sumo wrestler. 
Round three, round three. Round three is better than blue. All right, Meekly coming out with the baseball bat, straight up, oh, down over Nacho's head, bashes him across the back of the head. Meekly headed back into the corner, Sean Michelle getting boxing gloves and actually putting boxing gloves on Jeremy Meekly's hands. He's back into the ring with Nacho Libre, and oh, there's the punch, an uppercut, and then a punch to the gut, and then another punch up against the ropes. He lifts him up onto the ropes to finish him off, but here comes Sumo Wrestler, and Whoa. Sumo tackles Jeremy Meekly right onto the floor of the mat. Oh, folks, rips the right arm Ow. off of Jeremy Meekly, and now rips the left <clears throat> arm off of Meekly. Here comes Sean Michelle with the Flying V guitar, facing off square against the Sumo Wrestler. Oh, and he smacks him in the face. Nacho coming up, grabs Sean from behind. Little victory moment gone awry for Sean Michelle there. Turns him around, tackles him, picks him up, and walks him to the edge of the ring. Look out, we've got our organist B. Wood at the bottom. He's our organ entertainment, and there he goes, throwing Sean on top of B. Wood. Ouch! Oh, that had to hurt. Libre jumps down out of the ring with a crowbar. Looks like he is ripping Sean Michelle's beard off with the crowbar. This thing took years to grow, folks, and it's coming off real quick right now here at the Butt Bowl. And defeats Sean Michelle, carries the beard back into the ring. Looks like that's gonna be the end of round three, folks. All right, folks, Kip and Obi back at the sports desk. We have yet to have anyone uh, defeat Nacho Libre here in tonight's Butt Bowl Five. And we're headed on into round four with uh, newcomer Caroline Miller, tag team partner David Miller. This combo new to the Butt Bowl here. Uh, also uh, new to the Butt Bowl was, uh, was Apocalypse 2.0, uh, Nathan Alford. And so we've seen a lot of carnage here tonight. Uh, Obi, what, what do you think about this uh, newcomer, uh, Caroline Miller, coming to the ring against Nacho Libre? By himself this round, all of his tag team partners have been eliminated so far, so he's going to do this round by himself. What do you think is going to happen here uh, in this round four, Obi? Hey, buddy, I'm going to have a lamp oil and just spill it all over the place and just come on out of sunshine and into the darkness you fall and the twilight, you know, and the vampire story and then the graham cracker crust. And it's just going to be all kinds of Walmart and, and Home Depot and then it's sweeping it up and just da 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 You know what I'm saying? Just come on down. My way! And come on down. Just, just I'm talking. You know, just beat these stuff and come on down into the carpet ride. And I don't know what's going to happen at a long All right, Obi. Been a lot of help tonight helping us understand the real dimensions of what's happening in the ring. So here we go, underway with uh, round four uh, of, the, uh, of the Butt Bowl here, tonight's final round. And uh, newcomers Caroline and David Miller, brother and sister, teaming off against Nacho Libre by himself. Let's watch. Ladies and gentlemen, our final, our final round, round of the evening, evening. The, the main, main event. event. In the in blue the corner, corner, we've got, got Caroline Miller and David, David Miller. Miller. In, in the, the red, red corner, corner by, by himself, himself is Nacho, Nacho Libre. Libre. Round, four, round four, round four, round four is so hardcore. hardcore. All right, sports fans, and so we begin round four, and here we go. Oh, Nacho Libre is ready. He rips off his shirt and cape. He means business. He's in this round by himself. Up against Caroline Miller, she steps into the ring with a musket. A choice weapon from the Revolutionary War. Looks like it's loaded. Oh, shoots him in the chest, direct hit. Continues to run to him. Looks like Nacho Libre has been severely wounded. He is crawling away into the corner. Caroline Miller's got the beat on him, chasing him into the corner. What's this? Looks like an audience member with a pickaxe handing it off to Nacho. Nacho now has the pickaxe. He is surviving the flesh wound from the Revolutionary War musket rifle shot. Ah. Chasing Caroline Miller across the floor. She's gonna tag in her brother D. Miller, David Miller. Here comes Nacho with the pickaxe. Oh, split David ah. Miller's head wide open. David Miller's head has just been filleted right here in the butt bowl ring. And Caroline Miller back to face off against Nacho. Looks like Nacho's overcome the flesh wound. He picks her up and down for the body slam. Now climbing to stand on top of her. What's this? What? No way! Ladies and gentlemen, the OG Kurt Miller has entered the ring, older brother of Caroline and David Miller. Can you believe it? Looks like Kurt Miller enters the ring to protect his siblings with a bull whip. Oh! Rips off Nacho Libre's mask with one whip of the bull whip. 
Looks like Kurt Miller is setting dynamite into the center of the ring right there with Nacho Libre on the floor. And who's, someone else is entering the ring, folks. It looks like Sputnik the Chicken. Everyone crawling away from the ring. Looks like Kurt Miller has set a propane tank on fire onto the dynamite sticks right there in the middle of the ring. Nacho Libre running, Kurt Miller running away, Caroline Miller running away, but it looks like Sputnik is intrinsically drawn to the dynamite. the dynamite ladies and gentlemen we've got a massive explosion right here it's just rocked satellite stadium right here Kurt Miller setting off dynamite looks like Sputnik has been completely charred burned to a crisp looks like something rising out of the ashes here what is this ladies and gentlemen it is Phoenix and Sarah coming up out of the ashes of Sputnik hey don't call me Phoenix Stupid. Clearly you don't understand a nickname. It's it's ridiculous. There's no reason. Folks, this is unbelievable. I've never seen anything like this. We've had a massive explosion. Looks like everyone has survived, except for Sputnik the Chicken, who was resurrected as Phoenix and Sarah, who has now flown into this mysterious light. We've got crazy stuff happening here in round four of the Butt Bowl. Looks like the three Miller siblings, uh, David Miller, Caroline Miller, and the OG Kurt Miller are forming some sort of triad over in their corner of the ring. Oh, do you believe it? It's some sort of Miller sibling Voltron that's emerged right here in the Butt Bowl, round four of Satellite Stadium. Some sort of massive robotic creation here has formed together to destroy Nacho Libre here. And out from the crowd, looks like we've got a Nacho Libre fan, young lady coming into the ring to rescue Nacho Libre and profess her love for him. Uh, and we just learned that this is Hope Middleton coming out of the crowd professing her love and devotion to Nacho Libre and standing in front of him to protect him from the Voltron. No, force not my here. Nacho. The Miller Voltron, the Miller sibling Voltron that is looming down, beating down on Nacho Libre right now. And Voltron grabs Hope Middleton, picks her up, throws her out of the ring. Ouch, that hurts. And she's down. Voltron taking aim now on Nacho Libre in the corner of the ring. Looks like Nacho's picked up a spear and is thrusting that now into Voltron's right arm. Severs the right arm of the Miller sibling Voltron. Not stopping Voltron here. Voltron being climbed up by Nacho Libre. Looks like he's using that hook hand to give him some leverage as he climbs up that mysterious sibling robot. Looks like the Voltron is Picking up Nacho Libre, lifts him up, lifts him up into the heavens, slams him over the side of the ring, severs his body, his body torn in two. Ladies and gentlemen, Nacho Libre being defeated as he is literally split in two by the ring. We've got a winner here today at the Butt Bowl. Looks like the Voltron is powering down and has morphed back into the three Miller siblings. So we've got a winner here. Caroline Miller is the winner of tonight's Butt Bowl. Butt Bowl 5 championship goes to Caroline Miller as she defeats Nacho Libre for the Butt Bowl championship. Well, sports fans, Kip the Moose Zikafoos here. What a night it's been. What an amazing Bud Bowl 5. We've seen some great fights and a great ending tonight as Caroline Miller wins Bud Bowl 5 by defeating Nacho Libre. Obi, your final thoughts on the uh, on the Bud Bowl tonight here. Hey, goddamn damn Bud Bowl 5. Come on down. and you just riding it like a snowboard in the lost evergreen forest of Indoor. And I'm just trying to keep it real. I've got a bloody booger sandwich in it. I'm just trying to knock it out of my heart. We've seen a lot of stuff here and seen a lot of seen a lot of astronomy and it's all good. And I'm just, you know, happy for the trash cans. And just 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 woo buddy. And I'm ready for some pancakes. 
All right, thanks, LB. And now we're going to toss it back to uh, our trophy presentation presented by a youth pastor here at Satellite, Bart Patton, with a champion, but Bull 5 champion, Caroline Miller. Thanks, thanks Kip. Kip. On, On behalf, behalf of Satellite, of Satellite youth, youth Ministry, ministry well, uh, Caroline, Caroline, we want to present, want to present you, with you with this trophy for winning, winning but Bull 5. 5. I want to say, say congratulations on behalf of all of Satellite and, and a great, great fight today. today. I really, I really enjoyed, enjoyed your performance in the ring. Congratulations. congratulations. Thanks so much. I'm, I'm so thrilled, thrilled to have won the butt ball. ball. Thanks, Thanks Caroline. Caroline. Congratulations, Congratulations again, again on your, your Bubble, Bubble 5, 5 victory. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send, send it back, back to Kip, Kip the Moose Zikafoos in the sports, in the sports desk. desk. Good, Good night, night from all of us here at Satellite. Satellite. All right, thanks, Bart. What a great night here at Butt Bowl 5. What a great round of uh, fighting. What a great finale here with Caroline Miller as the champion. We've had a great night with you. Thanks for joining us. From all of us at Satellite News Network, including Obi and myself, Kip the Moose Zikafoos, have a great night. We'll see you next year for Butt Bowl 6.